Welcome back to the final round of the Soler Philippine Open. This is the daunting 18th hole. Plenty of trouble. Let's get what probably so what thinks of the closing hole at the country club. Just try to make part hit. First thing, try to hit the fairways and you know, and then try to hit the green. If not, just miss on the on the right spot. Try to walk out with par. That's that's what I want. Well, the hole today, as you can see, cut 16 bases from the front and five from the right. Certainly not a birdie opportunity, you'd feel. Prom Isawat said he just wants to make par. Well, he's at the fairway, done a very good job of that, but he's left himself a long way in. Going in with a rescue club, Sky's got to be aiming left. Yeah, I mean, not a lot. You, can, you can't go at the flag. Oh, he's not got all of it. You can just tell it sounded a little bit healy. Oh, he'll do, Sky. My word, Blimey. what a golf shot. His heart was in his mouth for sure. That was a great shot. I don't think he knows how close that is. I don't think Miguel knows how close that is. Just going in with a long iron. Abbreviated follow through, trying to knock that one down. Oh, how good is that shot, Sky? Well, that's got to be the best pair of shots all day, surely. Oh, well, it could be three for three. This would be even more special. Guido, much shorter coming out of the fairway bunker. There's a lot of water and sand to get across. He's got to be looking left. Oh, Guido. It's got to be sensible. Third prize on its own is worth $38,000. Doesn't want to do anything daft. Just find that front trap. He's got a two-stroke lead on third place, so shouldn't really himself too much problems yeah look at this can't even make a stance this is this is a horrible spot to be in sky Sevi-esque well he certainly can't go anywhere anywhere close to the flag he's just got to get it out onto the green and two put for five he's three strokes clear of fourth place here we are just aiming out to the left not even looking at the flag stick yeah, a sensible play, you feel, Sky. Can't win the tournament. No, exactly. Exactly. Just has the two putt now. Crowds gathering around this 18th hole. It'll be Guido to putt first for par. And just trying to lag this one up there close. Doesn't need to do anything silly. No theatrics. No need for a rush of blood to the head. It's all about pace, this one. I'd say he's judged the pace fairly well. Still a bit of meat on the bone. That should be third place by himself. Locked up and another nice paycheck heading the way of the Dutchman. Yeah, his speed control on the green this week has, has been pretty decent. Hence why he's, uh, he's up there near the top of the leaderboard. Figured the cream always rises to the top of these difficult golf courses. Bias right play in the field, Miguel Tabuena for his birdie at 18. No. And that means Prom Isuat has a putt to win the 100th edition of the Soler Philippine Open. Sky? Well, he's putted well all day. It wouldn't surprise me if he were to make it, but he's just hit, overborrowed it. Maybe just a little bit too much adrenaline. Well, par four for Prom. He can do no worse than a playoff. It's level par round of 72. One of the par total for the week. Guido is for a bogey. The closing round of 73. Yes, well done. Solo third for Guido van der Volk. And Miguel brushes that one in. Yeah, low round of the day, 71 today. 73, 72, 73 and 71. Oh, that just shows you how tough this golf course has played all week. Some of the best players from Asia and around the world 
and not a single soul at level par or better. We've got more golf to come from the country club. Miguel Tabuena and Promiso Art both finished with a 289 stroke total through four days. One over par. The pair will head back to the 18th hole for a sudden death playoff. Have a look at some of the other finishers. Stephen Luton, good defense of his title. Eight over par, good enough for a tie for fifth alongside Nick Pires and Justin Kiban, young talented man from the Philippines. It's going to be another top 10. My goodness, 11 over par gets him in the top 10. That is just ridiculous scoring. Just brutal conditions. The course is set up with some really tough in positions, and the scoring is reflected. So, Promisawa will start things in the playoff when he's talking to it. Doesn't like this tee shot. Ooh, that's found the fairway bunker, and you'd have to say advantage to Buena. Yeah, definitely advantage to Buena if he can find the fairway. Now, you must remember the last time these two met in a playoff was the 2014 Yanda Tournament Players Championship, and Prom came out on top. So, revenge on his mind for Miguel just drifting into the first cut of rough shouldn't bother him too much and that actually gives him a pretty good angle into this back right hole location so early days it's the local with the advantage now these two are pretty friendly with each other and it's I suppose it's reassuring but difficult at the same time Sky to play against a friend like that for sure but when you're playing for, the, for this amount of money nobody wants to lose and for the 100th edition of the Soler Philippine Open, the oldest national open in Asia. From surveying the situation, as Miguel first to play, what would you do in this situation, Sky? Anywhere left of the pit? I think so. I mean, just pick, pick in the middle of the green, commit yourself, and go for it. That's all you really can do, and that's a pretty good shot right there. Put the emphasis, put the pressure on Prom. He's got the tough shot. Didn't fly the bunker by much now, Prom. All to do here. We saw Guido in regulation play come up short left in that bunker. You know, that's a nasty place to miss it. Ooh, he didn't get all of that one, did he? He's begging for it to go. Oh, it's gone into the bunker. That's going to be awkward for, for Prom. Yeah, it's tricky. That fairway bunker shot over water, slightly into the wind. to get a rake, make sure he smoothens out that trap, leaves it in the same condition he found it. Miguel Taboina, is he strutting to a victory? Is he looking good to win the 100th edition of his National Open? Certainly from where we're sitting right now, it looks like it. this is another horrible lie in the greenside bunker. Oh dear. That's about all we can say to this one. That's a, that's a pretty deep squad he's got to get himself into there. Like Guido before him, I think he's just got to chop this out somewhere on the left and, and really pray for a miracle. There's, there is no shot here, Sky. It's, yeah, not really. I mean, is this a sensible option? Well, you're in a playoff. You do no worse than second. Oh, careful, Brom. Yeah, but the thing is, I mean... If he gets it out in the green, he's given himself a chance. Now he's, well, you can't rule him out. He's got a great short game, but I, I question the decision there. You can blame that one on the tee shot as his fourth shot just releases up past the hill. Out of position, off the tee, left himself. A bit too much to do. They're big targets here, the fairways at the country club. There's just a lot of it. Very long golf course, very windy. Uh, Miguel, two putts for the 100th Soler Philippine Open. What's going through his mind right now, Sky? Speed control, speed control, speed control. Just a question of lagging it down there. All those rounds he's played at the country club, all 
all the practice he's had. Oh. <laughs> oh, it would have been a beautiful way to close out the tournament, but he knows. Just two putts for the win. Surely he'll be able to go up and tap that one in and seal the deal. So Miguel Tabuena prevails in a playoff over Promi Sawat wins his National Open, the 100th edition of the Soler Philippine Open. And now he can manage a big smile. Hugs for friends and family. He's done his country proud. What a thrilling final day. Miguel Tabuena, the champion in Manila. Let's hear from our champion. Speechless. Um, the complete opposite from from yesterday. Actually, um, I was I was I was pretty down and and, and pretty mad, but um, I forgot all about that. And this this that made my win even sweeter. Um, I thank God for for giving me a chance to win at home, for it being the hundredth year. Philippine Open. Anytime I can put my name on one trophy twice, multiple times is a is a huge honor. And it was just lucky that it was the Philippine Open, the hundredth year. And congratulations once again, Miguel Tabuena, winner of the Soler Philippine Open. It's been a wonderful week. Me, Timothy Lowe, and Sky Neal. It's goodbye for now. Happy birthday, Soler Philippine Open. <laughs> happy one hundred. Uh, happy one hundred. Uh, one, one more. Happy 100th birthday for Philippine Open. Happy 100th birthday to the Solera Philippine Open. Got it?